Hey guys, Mr. DeMayo and what's that smell? One big meteor burger, pick it up! What? No, not meteor like more meat. I'm talking about those like giant space rocks. Oh. I slaved over a hot stove all day and this is how you repay me? What happened to us? Anyway, today we're going to learn about meat e ores. So let's do it. So what's the plan? Well, about 25 million meteors enter Earth's atmosphere every single day. And most of them come from the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. So I figured that would be a good place to start. Wait, asteroid belt? Isn't this video about meteorites? Well, meteors are actually much smaller than an asteroid. An asteroid is a large rocky body in space in orbit around the sun. So it's a... Space rock. Alright, stop! Let's just agree to never play that song ever again. You hate it now, but you're gonna be singing it later. So what's the difference between a meteorite and an asteroid? Well, to understand that, you need to know the difference between a bunch of terms that have a lot in common. Um, Roberta, do you know what I'm talking about? I know very well what you're talking about. Here, look at this. As I said before, an asteroid is a large rocky body in space in orbit around the sun. Next is a meteoroid. Meteoroids are much smaller rocks or particles in orbit around the sun. After that is a meteor. If a meteoroid enters the Earth's atmosphere and vaporizes, it becomes a meteor, which you may call a shooting star. And lastly is a meteorite. If a small asteroid or large meteoroid survives its fiery path through Earth's atmosphere and lands on Earth's surface, it is then called a meteorite. Interesting. So they come in stages. First is a meteoroid, then a meteor, and last a meteorite. Uh-oh. A meter made. I mean, a meat eater. I, I mean, a meteorologist. I mean, a meteoroid is headed right for us. Uh-oh, duck! Why are you guys so scared of a little baby duck? Uh-oh, another one! Can we say chicken this time? I'm allergic to duck. We are gonna die. I got a better idea. Ask him if he brought us any presents. This video is supposed to be about meteors, not stupid presents that you want. Oh, but I want a Nintendo Playbox. That's not even a thing. He's right, you know. You just combine like three video game systems. I know what I did. Are you going to get it for me or not? No, but I can get a meteor to blow your spaceship to bits. Will it be made of a Nintendo Playbox? No. Then I don't want it. Fine, let's see if your planet wants a little meteor action then. Okay, bye, Mr. Meat Speedo. Wait, if you're not made of Nintendo play boxes, then what are meteors made of? Well, meteorites are usually divided into three categories. Stony meteorites are rocks, mostly made of something called silicate minerals. Next are iron meteorites. These are made of metallic iron and nickel. And last are stony iron meteorites. These are meteorites that have a large amount of metallic and rocky material. So they're like rocks? Uh-huh. In space? Yeah, but I don't really see what you're doing with this. Oh no, here we go again. What's that rock in outer space? Can I see that CD that you're playing that song on? Yeah, it's right there. <sighs> Whoa, so that thing can turn anything into anything? Whoa, yeah, pretty much. Ooh, turn me into a CD that plays that song, Space Rocks. You're crazy. I like you, but you're crazy. Hey, can we just get on with this video already? Good idea. So I know a ton of meteors enter Earth's atmosphere all the time. 
But where do they go? Well, most of them burn up in Earth's atmosphere and turn into dust. Only a few actually make it through and become a meteorite. Well, how many? Well, around 500 meteorites reach the Earth's surface every year. But of those, only around five ever make it to scientists for study. Still, 500 is a lot. But I've never seen one land near me. Where do meteorites mostly land? Well, since your planet is mostly water, it lands there. What about on land? Is there a place where more meteorites fall? Because I'll make sure I never go there. <laughs> Ever. Meteorites fall randomly all over Earth. But they're usually found in places with low precipitation, meaning rain or snow. These places preserve the meteorite for a while. And the most meteorites on land are found in Antarctica. Why would a meteor want to land in a place like Antarctica? Duh, the cute little penguins. Everybody knows. Everybody. Well, actually, the most meteorites are found there because they're easy to spot in the white snow. And they like seeing them little baby pangies. We know. Yeah, whatever. Hey. I know the whole thing about asteroids being bigger than meteorites, but you're like huge. What's the biggest meteorite to land on Earth? Well, the biggest one to land on Earth is the Hoba meteorite. This meteorite was discovered in Namibia, Africa in 1920. The Hoba meteorite weighs roughly 119,000 pounds. Whoa. The Hoba meteorite is so big and so heavy, it has never been moved from where it was found. Wow, it looks like a giant brownie. You look like a giant brownie. Real nice. My great grandma was a giant brownie. What? And she was a saint. I know what'll cheer you up. A Nintendo play box? Nope. Is it little baby pangies? Uh-uh. Space rocks. Playing that song, I destroyed it like three minutes ago. You don't play the song. You gotta feel it in your heart. We cannot end this video fast enough. Uh, speaking of fast, how fast is a meteorite? Well, meteorites are crazy fast. Meteorites enter Earth's atmosphere at speeds up to 160,000 miles per hour. Wow, a meteorite traveling that fast could probably cause a ton of damage if it was headed towards Earth. Hmm, you just gave me an idea. You want to go to Antarctica and see the pangies? No. You want to listen to Space Rocks again? No, I'm going to head to Earth and cause some massive destruction. Whee! I wonder where he's headed. Why am I sweeping the rest right now? Oh no, not again. A giant brownie! What? Uh, where am I? To be honest, I don't really know. I don't ask a whole lot of questions, so um, I'm gonna say uh, Winchester in Fieldville, Iowa. That's an actual place. You just made that up, didn't you? Yes. Well, did I at least destroy anything when I landed? Well, you almost hit this weird gray haired dude, but he got away. I mean, he sprained his ankle over there, but he got away. Who needs an ankle? I'll turn it into a snake. Klatu Barada No! Not again! Well, I'm kind of glad you landed, because I've been stuck talking to that guy for like four weeks. So what do you want to do? You want to get like a manicure, pedicure, catch a movie, eat some space brownies? Oh, for the last time, I am not a brownie! Well, I'm gonna eat you anyway. Whatever. I mean, ever. Herber. Herber, Herber. <laughs> 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 I see you guys.
Ha 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 